Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. It's your boy Hatch with T.O. There it is. You know what it is. Every week, baby. Every get your week. popcorn ready with your boy T.O. and Hatch. Yes, yeah, subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcasts. We got our boy Stray coming up here today. Michael Strahan coming into the hole today, baby. Well, you know, Michael Strahan, Hall of Famer, co-host of Strahan, Sarah and Kiki on Good Morning America. We're going to try to touch on a little bit of everything today. Look, yeah, Stray got a whole bunch of stuff going on. He got the host like, of the Fox, most. Right? He got Fox Sunday. He got Good More in America, his production company. Um, he pr also produces the uh, $100,000 Pyramid. In which I was on. Which he was on. Check it out. Me and Check my girl, Gail King. Yeah. Yee! Get your popcorn ready. Hashtag GPR, get your popcorn ready. Here with Michael Strahan, coming that, up. That's what's up. GPR, get your popcorn ready. Yeah, what's pop? I'm already eating my is. popcorn. I'm ready. Stray yeah. hand in the house, T.O. in the house. GPR, get your popcorn you ready, baby. Know. What's popping segment? Mm -hmm. Get your popcorn ready with T.O. and Hatch. We got our guest in this piece, Super Bowl champ. Shoot, TV star, that's what it is. Person, mm -hmm. Yeah, you ain't lying. I, we, we got so many. No, you got so, so much we stuff. Are, we we, yeah. we got to go down a whole list. You got 27 jobs, bro. Right, exactly. You're African-American. The, the right? host of the most. Look at Jamaican over there, man. Look at Jamaican. Michael Strahan, the host of the most. Good morning, America, Super Bowl champ, uh, Strahan, Kiki, and Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. yeah. Man, you, man. Hey. Pyramid. They, some reason they keep giving oh, me jobs. Oh, we did the pyramid. Do, do the pyramid. Yeah, we did the pyramid. <laughs> hey, me and Gail got it. <laughs> Boy, you already did, know. Did you win? Did you win it? Yeah, you did we won. not. Um, you don't. They don't win money. They try to help somebody else win we, money. Yeah. Oh, okay. The people okay, want, yeah, a yeah, yeah. Right. want a little money. They want a little money. Me and Gail, we got down though. Okay. He and Gail King is. played against each other. This is okay. good. No, good. it was fun though. Me and Gail got down. I yeah. can dig it. So how, how you there. like having all those jobs though? I okay. love it, man. It keeps you busy on the move. No, you know what? Keeps me busy. Never too. I mean, I'm so busy. Sometimes too busy it seems. Yeah. But never out of control. Yeah. But it kind of like everything's like a wave. Like mm -hmm. football season now is tough because I got to do all the morning stuff in New York, and I got to mm -hmm. fly out here to L.A. every weekend. I get Saturday off. And then Sunday, I work all day at Fox, and I fly right back and start all over again. Mm -hmm. well, it's a great job. You guys know at one point, I mean, I'm just happy to have a job. Uh, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're just trying <laughs> to find a, a balance with all the, the moving pieces yeah. and parts. So I've been able to kind of find a, um, Cause you got family, like the sweet spot. Because I got family, family I got my kids. kids. Yes, all yeah, I got stuff. my family. It's, it's crazy. But doing all these jobs allows me to take care of my the kids family, yeah. and right. my family. And and so I ain't complaining. It's just like Facts. football. It's like it's a privilege, and it, it affords you the opportunity to take care of not only yourself but your family. But it, but also, and you guys know, football's hard. Mm -hmm. This ain't it, hard. That's it's what I'm the saying. hardest thing. Yeah, this ain't hard. I, said, I talk for a living. So right. is this? So yeah, I, I like that we're on this topic. So what what is the transition been like? Especially, I mean, we all we play sports or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's that structure. You know, yeah. you, you definitely had a coach. <laughs> Y'all had to be there. You ain't five minutes, minutes early, you're late. late. Exactly. So you, <laughs> you really know, know about structure. So how is that transition going from like almost military <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> almost that was worse than military. <laughs> now, so you, it, it, this right here forced a little bit of freedom, but there's some structure you know to what it the well. structure, but football in itself was structure, like working out. Yeah. Um, like the discipline to work out. And for me, I like to work out a lot by myself. I didn't like, I didn't necessarily need a coach to motivate right. me and push me to work out. But the structure of doing all those things works well in TV because, you know, I read all my notes. I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Like the preparation to be able to remember things. Mm -hmm. Cause you know how you're in a game, they give you game plans and your route's this or, or my, my, my rush is that. And then the same call, they get in the game and they're making that call. They ain't, you know, they got to keep the call, but they got to change your route right yeah. in the middle of all the chaos make that's going on. You got to be able to make adjustments. And you got to be thinking fast on your feet. Same you got to react. And TV's the same way. You got to make adjustments. You got to think fast on your feet. You got to be able to react. But instead of reacting, 
physically you react verbally. Yeah, verbally. And, and, and it's, it's easier because I'm not sore right. after a you show. Ain't lying. You ain't lying. <laughs> ain't nobody <laughs> going, you suck. You lose. You know, ain't nobody so, doing so, that. So going to the bench is not like going to the trailer. No. <laughs> you go to the trailer, you like, hey, you I'm good. Yeah. Post it up. No, you got people <laughs> saying you suck. I'm at the TV sometimes. You suck, Marcus. <laughs> hey, 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 the only back. way they can read me is social media, and I don't even pay attention to it. So <laughs> you know, I don't realize when I suck. You know what? We have a social media segment. It's called social status segment. Mm -hmm. And it talks about what you've had as a something negative, something positive on your social media. That right? you react, that you react, react that, or to. that you wanted to react to. You might oh, not yeah. have, but I, there's got to be something. Yeah, there was something. I reacted to it. I can't even bring it up now. I might get in trouble. No, you got no. <laughs> no we, yeah, we gotta right. tell it. No, I can't we do it. Tell. Is it that I bad? Oh, who that you gonna bad, get in trouble man. with? It was with a network. Right, the so, network well, or your wife or your girl? Which one? Is no, it? no, not my girl. It was, it was, um, it was. Somebody, I hate when somebody is, you know, there and there, T-H-E, uh, R-E and T-H-E-I-R, there yeah, and there. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just, like, right, I'm, I'm still right. tired. and then you got the grammar police. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I, I grammatically, they corrected me, mm -hmm. so I put it in a sentence the correct way, uh -oh. but it wasn't a nice sentence. Oh, <laughs> right. I, oh just, I like yeah. that. So yeah, you figured so, a way to respond. Yeah, yeah so but it was. Really it got was, that. You clap back at him. I clap back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because right. well, you know what? How when you when you're on TV and you do this, you know, the, the morning stuff, you do the entertainment stuff, and everybody thinks that's you know just you. Oh, this guy. Right. Well, he just. I know him. But right. you know, at the same time, I did other stuff too. Mm -hmm. Like the the sports business is a whole different thing. My mindset's a whole yeah. different thing. So, I'm not a punk, right, right, you know, right, I'm right, still right, a man. Right. Yeah, 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 and, if, right. and if you run up on me for verbally right. and physically, I, you at that respond. point in my life, go back to my football. reacted that way. <laughs> yep, and this yep. was years ago, but I reacted that way. Because I'm like in the locker room. You gonna talk to me like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming on. right back. Right. Oh, we gonna do like that then? Hey, that's what it is. You are gonna come hard, I'm go hard. Yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna yeah. come, I don't, I don't go soft. Right, right, You gonna right, come right. at me, then I'm flat out going, I'm gonna go at you, you and hopefully yeah. you can take it. If you can, great. If you can't, then I'm sorry. But yeah, I did have a situation like that. And uh, that was like the last time I really clapped back. Right. Now I'm subtle. It's more like, it's more smooth. Right, Little right, jab, right. or I just ignore you it, You pick man. your battles, that's what I it is. I pick my, or I just ignore it. Yeah. Because you they got- They don't know until you clap until back. Until you clap back. Yeah, they don't know. But then know. you got somebody who, who's, had no bearing in your life. Anyway. And no, and no way. People, and you can yeah. get a million great comments, you get one up, one bad comment, you're all upset. Right. And this is somebody who who can't do what you do, wanna wish they can you do. wanna do what you do, wish they can do what you do. And that helped me in football too, with reporters and all that in New York. You're always constantly getting criticized and all that. And then one day I came to the realization, hmm, you can't do my job. Ever. I can do your job. Uh, absolutely. So why would I even let anything you say about me and tell me how to do my job even affect me? Because you can't do what I do, so how are you going to tell me how to do it? Right. And just the mindset of like of doing that helped me in football. It helps mm -hmm. me now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the social media stuff, I had to like remove myself from a lot of it. I still have all the accounts, and I, right, right. I kind of have somebody who manages that stuff mm -hmm. because I also don't want to be on that all day. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a rabbit hole. Yeah, kind of like taking selfies and, and doing all that stuff. So I be telling him, he be on his on his joint naked, you know, having. I'm like, what well, are you he doing? He liked that though. He, he liked. Like, look at he your, liked that. He liked the show. Your abs, abs. Your abs away. I'm a, I'm gonna give the people what they want, man. That's oh, what that's I'm just, they calling for. Yeah, that's what they want. They like, Teal, give us that. Right. And they say it's it's <laughs> give us the nakedness. It's a little risk game, you know what I mean? It's it's a little it's not, I mean, it's borderline, but it's still yeah. PG, you know what I mean? Put on a little shorts, oil up. That's what I did. <laughs> and you need my Christmas hey, hey, hey. I'm afraid to see it. Yeah, don't look at <laughs> don't, 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 don't look at it. Well, I'll be blinded. Yeah, I'll tell you what happened last year. So I hoot with like Tank and a lot of the NBA guys, and so it was around Christmas time, so I posted up like maybe a week or two before Christmas. So those dudes, so they followed me and stuff. And so when I posted it, when I posted it, 
everybody was tripping. The women was like, boom, boom, boom. So obviously they get alerts, and so they went to my page, and they was like, they was like, T, come on, bro. Come on, though. Just give us a heads up next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go through post, my just, scroll bro, and yeah, see this. I'm like, come on, dog. Yeah. Like, come on, bro, just give me a heads up next time. <laughs> well, you so I, bought, I, bought, I went to like Hustler one time, and I bought some of those, it was like those, uh, they were green and red, they were shaped, uh, colored like a, like, a, like a Christmas box, like a present. So they're real short. You had see what I'm saying? Don't wait, don't popping, go see this, you know though. What I mean? Yeah. For the you love know. of God. So how many, how many crunches you how many crunches and push-ups you do before you take the picture? No, I didn't do nothing. I was, yes, he I did. I didn't yes, do did. No, I, that's natural. It was it was natural. And I ain't even really been lifting like that. I just maintain. Me in the bed with you and look. This is how this is how we sleep right here. But I wish we had back. What year was that when we played y'all in the playoffs? Oh man! Um, I wish we, I wish we had social media because I was gonna clap back at you because we went at do, it. Man. We went we went <laughs> at it, and I we was used to go at it. Hey, and I was going if I if I if we had it then, I was gonna pull up the clip. They were, they oh, up. the 49ers, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me started. Hey. Don't get me started. Hey. They ripped us off that game. That was pass interference. At the end, toward the end, toward the end. Yeah. Oh, and they tackled the dude. Yes. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, but Facts. check this out. Prior to that, they we was up, they was up 25. They gave it away. We started getting they, hurt, man. They they was up 25, and I we started coming back. I had scored a touchdown. We were still down like about 20 and I something. I pointed at the scoreboard yeah. on you. I'm <laughs> like, man, he gonna point at the like scoreboard. Like it was over? And it what? wasn't over. What? <laughs> oh, I, but that's when I, my, my confidence was on sky high. Then they had Jason Seahorn right there. You almost look like Jason, Jason Seahorn. But this is, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, I was, so, like I, 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 I was so motivated because they was like, Jason Seahorn going to shut, shut you down. down. In yeah. my mind, no you know way. me, I'm going to keep it. I said, bro, I ain't no white boy finna shut me down, bro. No that, that's corner. my mentality. Yeah. I didn't say that, but in my heart, man, I'm like, bro, that's crazy. I got my oh, family watching. I got it. the people in the hood watching. Hey, like, you know, Jason Seahorn, he was like, he was the dude for the yeah. yeah. He was, he was that guy. Yeah. He was athletic as hell. Yeah. yeah. But I wasn't finna do that, dog. Kid. National TV too. They came. And then that, I heard they had Will Allen. I I was I was I listened to some of the highlights. They said Will Allen all of them. They was like, yo, we want T.O. We want T.O. They got him. <laughs> <laughs> they got him. First Why are you gonna bring him up, man? Hey, 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 I'm a guest. I'm a guest. You said you're you're not gonna guess. get your guest on here <laughs> and bring up some damn thing. Hey, because I never because I I'm like. Yeah, I'm pointing at the scoreboard, and every time somebody pulls it up, it makes me go. Absolutely. <laughs> like, maybe yeah. I shouldn't have did that so yeah. soon. Yeah, oh, man. but let's get back to you, by the way. Because I remember we playing the Cowboys, and, and like what T.O. liked to do, he liked to come out pregame. Mm -hmm. Like before the warm up, warm up. Like yep. I would go out before the team warms up on my own little yep. warm up. Yep. So he goes out there, and this cat, he got on tights, little yeah. cut off shirt. Yeah. He just flexed. Why your voice changing though? Because yeah. that, because that's what you look like. Right. He's trying to be sexy. What he's trying to be sexy, and he wants, but he wants the DB. He wants everybody to come out there and look at him because right. he go intimidate him because he's just so big. Oh, that so rock up at two twenty. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I was like, man. Oh, you don't go put on a shirt, stop playing. But I ain't lying, man. though. I, did, I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, I'm glad I ain't got to cover that food. That's a big old dude. <laughs> I'm going to stay on this edge. I'm going to stay on this edge and go against these 320s out here. Yeah. I was like, that's a wide receiver guy. Stop. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what T, that's what he's going to do. But damn, yeah, I pointed at that scoreboard. That will haunt me forever. <laughs> that will haunt me forever. Every time, oh, yeah. And every once in a while, that. it rolls around. Somebody brings it up. Makes me hot in the fifties. That's hilarious. It makes me hot, man. You, how long you been doing like in the the TV New York stuff? Like what, five, six years now? What I've been no, at Fox for twelve. Yeah. I've been doing the other stuff. I want to say for seven, yeah. seven, eight years six, now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So which years. life? I mean, obviously, I mean, yeah, which, both has its perks, man. It's a it's a difference. To be in sports is amazing, but once you go into stuff that is more world or you know mainstream. mainstream mm -hmm. Where the, the the husbands, the wives, the kids, the grandparents, mm -hmm. everybody watches. Oh yeah, your life is completely different. Yeah, it's, it's like when I did uh, Dancing with the Stars. It's like a totally yeah. different demographic. I had like old ladies staring at me going up the escalator, and I'm like, in my mind, I'm and like, they never knew you this played was, football, this was, probably. Right, this you know was after I had done the show, so I'm like, why are they staring at me like that? Mm -hmm. And then so then it was like, and I I saw some of my like, 
oh, he was, he was, she, the lady she was telling her mom or whatever, she goes, he was on Dancing with the Stars. And I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. But people don't wear, we get so, we get so boxed in that what we did and what we do is, is like, oh, this is the top, the pinnacle, whatever. Not, right. And I used to think the same way. Right. When I remember when I got the job at Live with Kelly, because I never thought I was going to get that job. I was on there. Guest host, I got lucky enough to guest like host. Like 20 times, right? Yeah, that's, yeah but that's I, well, the crazy. first time, the first time that I was, um, I did that was I went on as a guest after the Super Bowl, and I wasn't real a real guest. A real guest, they call you, you walk out right, there, right. you sit in the couch in the chair in the interview. Right, right. Me, they were doing that little host chat thing and Regis and them say, oh, Michael Strand's here. And I walk out, I basically stand by the desk. Mm -hmm. Or sit by the desk or something. It wasn't really like a real, interview. real like interview guest type thing. And I always say they did it because Eli wasn't available. So <laughs> but when, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it though. <laughs> so when I left, I was like, I told the producer, I said, Hey, if Regis ever takes a vacation, need somebody to come fill in. I love to fill in. Blah blah blah. A year later, they asked me, mm. prob probably because they had nobody else to fill in. Yep. So I never thought I was going to get the job. Mm. And I think that they thought, oh, the athlete, we'd give him a shot. The athlete right. is a New York guy. One you day. Know, in one day. Token, right. token black guy. Yeah. And yep. one day, we'll just throw him in there. Yep. And then they kept asking me to come back. So I just, but I never thought I'm going to get the job. Because every time you would see something, it would be everybody except for me going to get the job. Because mm -hmm. this guy's been in TV forever. This guy's done it. This guy, uh, the, oh, he's entertaining. He's great. But, mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't have experience. He'll never get it, you know. Now, wasn't that, well, clearly, your, wasn't that your model when uh, you did the best damn sports show, right? Didn't you, yeah. like, do that a whole bunch of times and just, yeah. like, as a guest? and I did the best damn sports show a lot. And then my last year or so, they actually hired me that I would go on every Monday mm -hmm. after a game and I and it was great because I learned so much there to help me on everything I do now like right. I would literally sit in a room in a studio with just a camera in my face and sometimes I have a monitor where I could see them most of the time I didn't mm -hmm. and I could just hear them and I had to tell stories and be animated and use my face to have a conversation sometimes when I didn't have my words mm -hmm. and that's really what I do now, especially on the daytime stuff, when, when you're sitting there and you're, you're doing these stories and somebody's telling a funny story or something, and just the look on your face. Because yeah. I don't want to interrupt you telling your story, but right. I want to let, let you know, the people at home, let, yeah. you know, I'm engaged. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like, that helped um, when I did Brothers, the sitcom for yep. a year. Yep. That was great because it was cool, like, being a whole acting environment, just see how the whole system worked and mm. how the producing worked, how to, I would go sit in the writing room with them and watch how the writers work, but just to learn the business. And then it taught me, okay, so there's, there's some things I like, there's some things I don't like. I know I don't want to do this. I know. Like for me to, to think about going to auditions and sitting there that's and all you. that, you it's just, that. Yeah. it's not me. It's, just not me. <laughs> it's a bit tedious. It's yeah. just a bit tedious. And you're sitting there in the camera in your face and reading some lines and like, okay. Hey, thank you, we'll call oh, you back. I feel great about that. And you don't get the call back. Right, like, yeah. no, thanks. I mean, just from, I'm I'm just like a fan, you know, watching Regis and Kelly, and then all of a sudden it's, you know, Kelly and Michael. It's like, yeah. how did they, everybody's like, how did he get that job? Yeah. Clearly, the Rooney Rule didn't apply to that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you just kind of. But the out. crazy thing is, like, I would go in and I'm like, I ain't getting a job anyway. I can right. act a fool I ain't here. Tripping. Right. So I would I would have no pressure. I would go in there and act a fool, and and they told me I got the job when I ripped my pants off. And um, did like a magic mic routine. Oh yeah, I think I saw the because that I'm like the, I saw Channing Tatum was gonna come on the next day, and I, I had like a few days in a row on the show, and I was like, oh, you know what? Just messing around. Yeah, Just you know, in college they called me the real magic mic. Right, I should rip right, off right. my pants and then, and they're like, "You'll do it," and I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah just why? throwing it out there." <laughs> but I didn't know, man. I'm right. so green. I didn't know that they had a wardrobe department to make it. it. In five I'm like, minutes. "No way, they gonna make me do it because they can't make pants to rip off." Man, <laughs> I walked in there, they had pants. Magic. <laughs> magic for magic. Magic pants for but magic. But they said money. we knew he was willing to play at that point. Like, I was willing to do anything and just have fun. And um, so when I got that job, mm -hmm. they said, hold on. Like, hold on. It's going to get crazy. Mm -hmm. And they did not lie, man. Mm -hmm. It it got crazy, and it's been in crazy. In a good way. In a good way. Right, crazy it's like. Good way. All of a sudden, everybody knows you. All of a sudden, all these different other opportunities came have come along. And for me, it's not always, it's about, you know, doing, 
like football, do your best every time. Every like time I, I, I on the field, I explained to some guys today, and they're like, well, how is it? I said, you know what? When you're on the field, I looked at a guy and go, every play is me or you, win or lose. It's, mm. no, it's no draw, it's either you or me on this play. Mm. They ain't gonna turn on this film tomorrow and see me getting whipped. Right. Any play, I'm giving you the business every play because this may be my last and so you're gonna get the best I got. You're gonna respect me, we're not winning the game. Right, right, at the right. end of it, you're going you're gonna to walk me. away and respect me right, because exactly. as you know, when you're out there in that field and you got a reputation and somebody heard about you, I don't want them to lead the game going, man, that cat wasn't like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. well, oh, What are y'all tripping word, on? Word, word travel. Like, yeah, word travel. Yeah, I want you quick. to walk away from that game and go, oh, I heard about him. Oh, you're going to bring was, your lunch. It was worse than I even You're going to have to bring your hard hat, your lunch box, strap, boots, everything. But that's that's the same mentality, though. I take every day when I go do the, the, the other shows. like everything I got, and I'm tired sometimes, mm -hmm. but in my head, I'm like, okay. I got an hour. Gotta Let's do, go. Right, I got right. Hour. I got that. Right, know? right, right. I got that. Because so. it's funny how it's like, like twenty years ago, or like fifteen, like we would all look up to like Magic Johnson as that crossover yeah. athlete into the business business world, and now you're the who everybody looks up to for the athlete crossover to the enter entertainment world. Mm -hmm. Like you're that dude, you know. So you have a lot of other players into trying to get into the industry because what you're doing on all these shows and producing and TV stuff like that. So I just want to say congrats to that, man. Thank you. Like man. kudos for Thank real. you. Like, and I know I mentioned <clears throat> the the Rooney Rule, and you touched on stuff about you know guys being put in position and you know guys that are not you know they work themselves to it to a degree to get to a certain level. I know you watch a little bit of football on yeah. Fox or whatever. What do you think about the actual, the Rooney rule? That's I, I think this what, what happened this year with them hiring coaches, I mean, what rule? Mm, ain't no, ain't <laughs> there no really rule. no rule. Right, no I rule. mean, it was, Speaking it, was of, just disheart, it was just disheartening. And I'm not, I'm not mad because any coach got a job. Mm -hmm. Right, because in New York job. City, in New they York, just, they just mm -hmm. hired you got Joe Judge. Joe Judge, mm -hmm. and um, I, I don't know. I've never met him. I'm sure I'll meet him at some really point. soon. I, I <coughs> saw the press conference the other day. Sounds great, passes all those tests, but still, you still got to coach a team and win. Right. Um, but I, I, I guess they looked at it at the the where he came from, his past, his pedigree with with Saban, with mm -hmm. Belichick, and all those things that he can kind of harness what he's learned, 38 years old. He can be a young coach for years for this team. I, I understand what the mindset is, and I, I, and I probably think there's a little panic that set in too. Absolutely. When Rule went to Carolina, Absolutely. That was there was guy. some panic set in. Yep. But when it came to the Rooney Rule, with, with all these teams, they're not just the, the my gi giants. The giants. Yeah, that's not the Giants. It's like across league wide. <laughs> you have Biennemi, you have um, a lot of other Left coaches could... who Byron, yeah, who are coordinators. Coordinators and that... one step below head coach. Right, right. You ain't get a, a sniff. They ain't right. call him one time. You don't get call a call. Him. You don't get a sniff. You don't get anything. But you'll go to a team and you'll, and you'll take a coach who was a special teams coach or. Who was quality control. A quality control who in, in every one year, <laughs> right. you know, in the NFL. And we all know being a college coach is different than being an NFL coach. No, no doubt. You know, it's a totally different mindset because mm -hmm. you're dealing with guys who are making millions of dollars. Right. And it's a lot different than dealing with a kid who's out there on a four-year or whatever yep. scholarship playing for a scholarship. Yep. And it's a different thing. And not saying that I, I wish them all success, but to me, I was just a little, I was disheartened mm -hmm. because... You had a lot of guys who were coordinators one step below being a head coach who didn't even get a sniff right. at an opportunity. And and they can say he didn't interview well. He didn't mm -hmm. do this. That's fine. But bring him in. But bring him in. Him Let him get experience mm -hmm. interviewing. Mm -hmm. Right. So maybe the next time um, you know that interview better. better. Interview. Yeah. But you 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 can't you can't have a rule like this and then have these openings. Someone said, well, there are only five jobs that opened up. It's like well, we yeah, but look, <laughs> who are the best five qualified guys? So just think there. about 15, 20 years ago. Just think, because I know I played with some great receiver coaches, <laughs> African American coaches at that. You know, from Larry Kirksey, George Stewart, Ray mm -hmm. Sherman, um, David Cully. Oh yeah. <clears throat> just think, twenty years ago, they're not even. There's no way no they would even think that they would get an opportunity to be a head coach. Oh, no. no. As a receiver coach, just to make that leap. 
Yeah. And now it's just like we go take a receiver. Well, before at one point there was no way that anybody thought they were gonna get a coach, a head coach job. Period. I don't care what coach right. you were. Right, right. Think right. about it. You were never gonna get past a certain level. Art Shell came through mm -hmm. um, with the Raiders and had some success there, and kind of um, you know Tony Dungy, all these guys um, showed what you can do. But it's still disproportionate right. with the mm -hmm. with the percentage of of minority players in the league. Um, and to the coaching situation is disproportionate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at some point, it's 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 gonna change. I don't I don't think it's inevitable <laughs> right. that it's gonna change. But it's gonna take, to me, some owner, mm -hmm. to, to to yeah. owners yep, yep. to do that yep. to take a chance. But let that's me, that's where the this. problem lies too. Is that <clears throat> there are no African American owners. owners. Right. Yeah. Of course. Of course. You know and they mean? have to vote you in too. So that, it ain't yeah. like they're just gonna let any African American. Right. And American I know, what, a team. couple of few years ago, I think that was Puffy and somebody was, the they Carolina, were trying to, they yeah, were trying they to, were trying to do Carolina. <clears throat> kind of thing. But at the end of the day, the big checkbook wins. Absolutely. So, so they weren't going to outbid Tepper. Just weren't going to outbid him. He's the richest owner in NFL right now. So he had the checkbook to do whatever the heck he wanted and, and buy the team. And he qualified because he was a, um, Partial owner of the the Pittsburgh Steelers mm -hmm. at some point, so he was already in the system. Let's say people. he was already in the system of the NFL. But I think at some point, um, and I and I feel like some point soon there will be a a, a team that is majority majority right. owned by a minority because economically there are minorities now who have the money to do it, and who can put the group together to do yeah. it. And um, I, I think it's just a hot topic issue um, that, that you have some guys who want to do it. Yeah. And, and a lot of guys, when you've reached that billionaire status, really nothing you can't do. Mm -hmm. But if you can become a minority owner in the NFL, mm -hmm. then a black owner, you'll be the first. Absolutely. You'll now, there's that. a lot of stuff you can do with billions, mm -hmm. but very how many times could you ever be first at something like that? Not in today's world. And not today's world. I so and it's a, in the boys' club too, you know. So they, these guys want to get in, and I think eventually, pretty soon, somebody will. So, so if the Giants called you, right, to be the head coach, would you leave the entertainment? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because it can be kind of a popularity contest now. They're like, yo, you. Let you own New York. To you, man. First of all, so you ain't getting back in that. that first uh, of all, <laughs> they work too hard for me. Right. The coaches work it's too 18, hard. It's 18, 20 hour days. But, all you, but, but you know, but you, but you know the structure of it. All you gotta do is put, like you said, put the people in place to do what they do. See, I, you, I said first of all, you let me finish the rest. First of all, first of all, they work too hard, man. The oh, hours are crazy. That. Secondly, dealing with guys. I, I just think I my mentality and how I was I came up as a player yeah. and how coaching was these guys couldn't handle that right right because right. I'm not gonna be soft with you right I'm not gonna coddle you yeah. I'm not gonna tell you son it's okay you did to know it's no, not it okay. okay that's not me right and third the check ain't big enough to make me go back <laughs> I mean I'll be I mean, that. Me too. Yeah. it's just not yeah. So there, you you couldn't know. No, I don't want that pressure anymore, man. Yeah. I don't want the pressure picking up the paper every day. Yeah. And, and no you jobs on the line. Yeah, every day. The, every day is not good, and every day there's yeah. a problem. I don't want. I want <laughs> none of that. Yeah. You've been there. Man. I've been there. Been I've done, there, done it. Done that, dude. I'm Just so happy it. when I wake up and I'm going. Uh, I report the news, but I ain't gonna be the news. There it is. <laughs> right. There it is. Yeah, right. Hey, That's what's that. up? You heard it. You heard it from Stray, baby, on GPR. Get your popcorn ready. Michael Strahan in the building. That's right, man. I appreciate you coming out. Am I man. done? I'm done, dog. Like what? Yeah, we, man. We get, Come on, man. What the hell you got on this well, shit? Let's do some more. I mean, you know, we got a whole bunch. We got social status. <laughs> oh, here, so the one social status. Oh, new status. edition. So, NCAA. yeah. So, you remember, because um, they got on you, right? What did I do? So, the Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. Oh, and they did the dance, did and dance. I said, oh, that's in sync. Everybody thought, well, and you said in sync and all, it's... and black Twitter went off saying, went off on how you. you not know <laughs> that's not new edition? <laughs> now, you know the new edition steps, right? Yeah, I know new edition. Show us, what's the new edition? Can, can you show us the new when edition you got steps? 12 jobs, and they both start with, you know, an N, you <laughs> make edition. a mistake. <laughs> and new edition, 
The NSYNC. <laughs> I, I, I know them all. Black Twitter, leave me alone, man. There you're it human. is. Okay. You're human. There you're human. You made mistakes. Okay, but mistake. But that's the great thing about live TV. I don't want to be perfect. If I want to be right. perfect, I'd have got my teeth fixed a long time ago. <laughs> I don't want to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the world is imperfect. Hey. I'm imperfect. Absolutely. If you're, if, and, 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 do you, I don't, anybody tries to be perfect, to me, you're, you're, it's not real. Like when you're, I see somebody trying to act, real. and you know, I'm like, dude, come, come on, on, man. Yeah, we got come on, be, be real. <laughs> be real. Ah, yeah, I don't need that stuff. Yeah, black Twitter, apology, apology. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> New edition in sync. Yeah. All right. So, TD said, okay, whatever, man, okay. You gonna teach me to dance? I saw that they try to teach me to dance. No, go ahead, give me the dance. Teach me. You was gonna see if no, you, you, you know me, the no, dance. No, you get him show me the dance, man. Well, he swore down. He know that's that's his thing. That's he, my well. Poison that, is my thing. Oh yeah, poison. poison is oh my no, thing. you know I did that lip sync battle, man, and um, Bell Bib DeVoe. Yeah, it yeah, came out. Yeah, really I did it with him, ah, man. That girl is poison. That, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's Girl, I must warn you. I said something strange in my mind. Hey, hey, situation is serious. Let's care it because we're running out of time. It's all so beautiful. Relationships, they seem from a start. Uh, dun, 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 dun. This uh, you so deadly <laughs> when love is not together from the heart. Uh, what? Uh, check it out. Dun, uh, uh. It's driving me out of my mind. That's why it's hard for me to find. Can't get it out of my head. Miss her, kiss her, love her. I want you dead. That girl is Yeah. All I got to say is this, man. Huh. If you were in the group, dog, if you were, if you were in the group. I, I need to be the eighth they member. They been like, just dance. Don't open your mouth. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Don't let a word come out yeah. your mouth. Yeah, y'all put the, make sure y'all put the real version of my boy. <laughs> you need to go with Masked Singer. I'll be the mass singer. You need to go with Masked Singer. Will you do the mass Singer? I, they didn't ask me. They, I, I've thought about it. I don't know. You don't need a mask. Look at his face. Oh, Look boy. at my man's face. That is a boy, mask. Let me tell you something, boy. I go on there, boy. <laughs> I think they guess you quick, though. You think so? I think they guess you They'd pretty have quick. To be, the, the uniform would have to be big. Would you do it? Yeah, I would do it. I'd rock it. Because, you know, Bradshaw did it. Terry Bradshaw did it. He I said he was hot in that dude thing, man. <laughs> he said that thing was heavy and hot. Because uh, it's, it's, like, it's a 25, 50 pound thing over here. Costume, yeah. yeah. But I'm surprised, though. Like, T Pain won. I was like, dang, okay. A lot of people who, who have seen Antonio it. Antonio yeah. Brown, yeah. yeah. Who I've seen it in it, I'm like, Whoa. Wow, wow. I didn't, I, yeah, I, I had no, addition, no idea so many people could sing. Facts, facts. But I'm wondering, are they really singing? Or are they, are they just playing it's music audio. in there? Millie acting? Vanilli in it? Yeah. I I'm like, you can't sing Vanilli. with all that on, man. You, no, 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 it's a pre-recorded thing. It's you know for sure? I don't know for sure, but it, I'm you, guessing. You because, sure saying that like you know for yeah, sure. I right? mean, oh, yeah. I got a lot of information up there. But do you know how they, they found the show? No. So, oh, it's the Asian show. The guy's daughter, the guy's daughter saw over in another it country, over in another country, over it in for Asia. Peanuts. And brought it and back. brought it back over here. And now they making, you know, it's a twenty million dollar episode. TV twenty show. Uh, an episode. It's close. It's close. It's big. It is a big, it's big, big, big production. Big of all these reality yeah. shows, which one you think you'd be best at? Oh, the reality shows? Yeah, because you got the because you got like Big Brother. You got uh, oh, oh even easy. even like The Bachelor, Shark Tank. What you gonna say? Shark Tank. Are you gonna be a shark? Yeah, I'll be. I can. I can pick some good deals. Absolutely. <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't ever like, give a man your money. He says I could pick good deals. Can, no, I'm not like that. But if I was like when I, if I was one of the sharks on the panel. And when you they think come you in, can pick oh, a, a spot a good deal? I absolutely. Because again, you you invest in the person, not the project. Who told you that? You did. You've been listening you, to. You me told me that. that. <laughs> I did. You told me that when we did something in Orange County about 15 oh, years ago. Oh wow! Because it was it wasn't about the project. He's like, Hatch, it's about the person. It is. It's true. That's there it it's is. It's true. I learned something from Shark Tank. Mark Cuban said, "Never invest in a tech company with somebody who's not a techie." Mm, that facts. makes sense too. Yeah, Think about that. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you don't know how to do nothing, how you gonna do it? You gonna just, just right, tell right. people, other people to do it? Yeah. 
Well, you, I think you you should do The Bachelor, man. Dude, I've, we've already tried. This is when I was doing my reality show, and people started chiming in. It was like, man, and it it want they wanted my show to be a dating show, but mm-hmm. it ended up just being like the day in the life because of the girls that I was dating on the show. But it, mm. it wasn't that type of show. But then, so then some people started asking me, like, man, why don't you do The Bachelor? So I had people from my team reach out to ABC and all those guys. But for whatever reason, they're not receptive to her. And they did an African American. Rooney rule, man. Rooney rule. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We need, a, we need a Rooney rule on the Bachelor. What's up? No, you had you had um the the one one black female. The Bachelor. Well, actually, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. I saw that. Well, Rachel Lindsay, right. who's a great girl actually works with, who does a, she does a, has the show on ESPN now. Oh, I know. Well, talk to she, up, she's man. cool, man. She's a smart lawyer from Dallas. But why nice. do you think, yeah, why won't they have a black guy on black? Well, everybody I mean, I'm, sure thought... I'm not the greatest candidate, but I'm sure I'm a viable candidate, but... No, they would definitely pick me before you, though. Well, why? For sure. Absolutely. As no. The Bachelor? No. Yeah, they would want me. Yeah, first I'm more... of all, you're not even entertaining, first of all. Wow. Ooh. You're not even entertaining. Wow. Just from the wow. entertainment value, that's why they would want me. <laughs> Just from that alone. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna, now, I know I'm he asked... Him, I'm going to let him think that. I'm going to let him think real. that. I'm not worried about this <laughs> dude, you man. Serious? This guy. They don't want you. They want me. Are you... Why? You know why. You know why. Why well, you try to go sexy at the camera, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Not, you know why. <laughs> he, you know somebody repeats something twice? You, you know, know why. why. No, you we know don't why. know why. Won't you tell him why? <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I, I think they need a, the Rooney Rule, that Bachelor. That, that'd be hot. Well, they had to do this year. Only reason I know, because I got to cover it for work. Okay. Um, do Big Mike. Uh, a brother, they thought that he was going to get a chance at it this year. But they but went no. with Pilot Pete. No, I've heard about that guy. Yeah, right with, with Pilot Pete, man. For, so. for the Bachelor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you got, won't you, won't you suggest? Won't you say, yo. The T.O. should yeah. be it. Matthew I mean, you Hatch got, bro, yeah, you, I think, I think. No, you got power now. Don't, 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 You know what? Mike, but, you know, I ain't got that kind of power. No, 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 you Mike, know what? Mike, you know what? Nothing you know, to do with me, that first, show. Oh, no, no, I got one better, T. You can move the needle. I got one better. I got one better. What's that? You can produce your own Bachelor. Because he has a production company. Go ahead and yeah, you produce could. your own. What are we going to call it Blatchler? Let's do it. Trust Black- me. Black- 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 Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You'll get yeah. some people to watch it. No. <laughs> For that, sure. Nobody thought the bachelor would kick off like it did. I sure did. Yeah, I've been running for twenty That's years. It is so. amazing. I don't get it. It is amazing it. how these shows have taken over. I don't but get it. Somebody said the other day but I don't, I'm t- that I, these. I, I, but these shows are like new, the new soap operas. Yeah, yeah, but I don't, yeah. I'm tired of crying, dog. I, you know, I ain't no good crier. Too. I'm, I'm, you a great I, cry. You cry all the time. I'm, I'm, what are you I'm, talking I'm, about? I'll be getting emotionally but you're attached man. and involved. Yeah, I, emotions on my sleeve. That's what they need, though. I know. Yeah, that's good care. TV. I, I know I will be a great candidate. Yeah, Can you like, cry? Him? I can't cry, but I ain't going to be a punk like he be doing. He just cry. <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even top 100. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did that bother you that much? Oh no, yeah, no, he no. called me crying. Straight, he called me crying. Stop Call, it, stop. He didn't call me crying, no, but no. but I just <laughs> I feel like it's just disrespectful. Like I get where you're saying. He's like it's disrespectful to the hall, can't. It's been disrespectful Justin, to so many players, right? Exactly. Yeah. That and that's what, like I said. That's how I felt because like me, I know what I did to get to the league. Like I said, I I'm like you. I never thought I would play beyond the collegiate level, mm-hmm. and so for me to achieve everything that I have. Then I like I want to be a rightfully recognized for my accomplishments. That's what motivated me to play college, high school and college, because I was sitting on the bench, didn't yeah. get to play in high school. And then when I went to college, I saw the guys that were faster, bigger, faster, and stronger than I was. I really didn't get to play. So I was like, man, I always was sitting on the side, like, man, I want to be, I want to be one of those guys that are making the touchdowns, you know, mm-hmm. making people get off their seats, you know what I mean? That's how I started getting get your popcorn ready. That was like that what that's what inspired me. Like cuz I sat there high junior high, high school, college, I wasn't that guy. So I always had to witness everybody else have a success. Yeah. Getting a chance. Yeah, exactly. So What that, round were you drafted in? Like third, third. 89th pick. Well, like you two were second, picks right? from second round. Two second, picks from the fourth yeah, round. I was a second 40th pick. Mm. So but you know, but it, but kind of, you know how it is when you come out of small colleges. Like, Black college. Well, you right, know, right. you know the competition. We don't know about the competition play against. Yeah. Right. And that's we, how it was when I was at yeah. Tennessee Chattanooga. I right. didn't face a lot of yeah. the yeah. Div, Division One, Miami, Florida State competition. Whatever. But 
So I, I can name damn near every guy D lineman drafted in front of me too. Oh, I, yep. I, I can too. Yeah. Right too. Right too. Ninety six. Ninety six was was considered like the receiver draft. Like ninety three was the defensive line like, draft. Like so, like next year these guys was like the quarterback draft. There's so yep. many you know QBs mm-hmm. coming out. So I remember like Keyshawn, Amani Toomer, yeah. Bobby Ingram, Alex Van Dyke, all Alex these guys. Van Dyke. Wow. All these guys. Went before me. Who the have? Eric Curry, John. No, Eric Curry. Eric Curry, John Copeland, mm. um, Carl Simpson, Coleman Rudolph from Georgia wow. Tech. Went up being my backup. Lazy. Wow. <laughs> um, who else did I have? Todd Kelly, University of Tennessee. Wow. Dan Footman, Florida State. Carl Simpson also went one. to Florida State. And man, now, all these guys. And I'll never forget, man. I'm sitting there with um, with Todd Kelly, who was my boy, good dude, he's good to me. At University of Tennessee, got drafted the first round to uh, the heck did Todd go to 49ers. Mm. So I'm sitting there, myself, Todd, and the, the scout for the 49ers, um, Tommy Hart was this guy's name, mm. black guy, um, Tommy. And we're sitting there, and Tommy basically says, literally to my face, "Well, Mikey, you know, I don't think I don't basically I don't think you can close on a quarterback." You have the ability to close on a quarterback at this level, wow. like Todd does. Wow! And I just remember going, "Do you just tell me that I can't mm-hmm. right in front of my boy like right. I got do? <laughs> what? What? What was that in all front about, of your man? Face. <laughs> and in my face, and like, literally took me back because uh-huh. I was quiet, man. You know, I, I didn't know I was from a small school. I'm just trying not to stir the ruffle pot. No feathers. I don't right. ruffle any feathers. I just right. want to go in. And figure out what I need to do. Now, once I figure it out, you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. But I need to figure it out. Let me figure it out. I right. ain't know how to figure out any of this stuff. And that cat said that, man. I never, I've never, never ever that forgot go. that. I've never got the good stuff people told me. I've never forgot the bad stuff. Oh, for sure. Either. I got a story like that. My, uh, we played the Minnesota Vikings. Jerry had gotten hurt uh, that year, and so it was basically just me and JJ. So we went through went through the playoffs. So it was really just me and JJ show. And so uh, we played the Minnesota Vikings. They had Dwayne Washington or somebody, number 20. Corey Fuller and Dwayne Washington, So yeah. we end up, we wild card game. We played Minnesota the first round. We beat them. I had like a couple of touchdowns, maybe one or two touchdowns that game. I know I had one on um, uh, Dwayne Washington. I put some DB and just right across the pylon. So after the game, you know, we won. We in the locker room. And one of the reporters came to, the, uh, to my locker and, you know, just talk about the game and what have you. And he said, man, he goes, what do you think about it? He's like, I just came over from the Vikings locker room. And he, has, and he said, man, um, uh, Chris Carter said, you know, that, you know, his DB, his DBs made two mediocre receivers look like pro bowlers today. <laughs> Speaking of me and JJ. Speaking of Chris. <laughs> mediocre. Do I'll never forget it. There it is. Mm-hmm. So I, I never it forgot it. We go to the Pro Bowl, right? I ended up making the Pro Bowl that year. NFC. He ended up going to the Pro Bowl that year. So we go to, we in Hawaii, Ihilani. He got to be out. <laughs> we in the Ihilani. We in there, we sitting around, you know, getting our stuff, books or whatever, the coaches, NFC coach, whatever. So he tried to say something to me, and I said, bro, you got me messed up, bro. I said, I'm mediocre, remember? I said, this is, you wasting your breath talking to me. <laughs> don't, even. <laughs> don't even come to me, bro. I've never liked him ever since then, bro. I've never liked him. But yeah, I mean, it's an insult. Yeah. And then, like, for me, like I said, I didn't really know who he was at that point in time, Like, but I knew he was, like, one of the better receivers across the league. Yep. You know, you got your Michael Irvins and, yep. and Jake Reed and Chris Carter and all them. Jerry was like, you know, so I'm like, man. So I'm like, man, why would he say that about me? You know what I mean? <laughs> Mediocre? But I don't get that, man. I've never been one like to cut down somebody, players, bro, the, exactly. especially like a young cat. Yeah, Still, you're a young either, cat coming man. up. Like I've never cut down people, you know, and I've never, I've never looked at somebody who's had a situation or have um some kind of something going on in their life, if it's in football or business or whatever it's been, and been hating on them. No, Just bro, not yeah, because I, I'm like, okay, if you got something I want, hmm, let me figure out how to work hard enough to get, get it. it. And yeah. if I were you and I were offered the same offered the same opportunities you were offered, mm. hell, I'd take them too. Absolutely. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. So let me figure out a way to get what I want by working hard for it. I've never understood somebody look at a young dude and try to cut his feet off from yeah. under him because you know cool. what? Man, let that young dude Cause give cause him confidence. Come back. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't be so afraid that he's going to take something from you. Dude, There's enough for everybody. There's enough for that, everybody. Dude, that, I, so, like I said, yeah. I never forget that, bro. 
Like that made me feel kind of good but bad in a way. I'm like, dude, why? But why? it helped you. Like I said, yeah. you use it for fuel. mediocre. Don't it? Bro, I'll never forget that. Yeah. Mediocre. Yeah. But yeah, we whooped y'all ass though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And so he yeah, that was, that was 97. But they didn't point at the scoreboard, yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was rough. But like, that, that was one of those games, bro. Like, literally, it was like literally every series we knew we had to score like on every possession. Hey, bro, we were down 25. That was the first you time got, I yeah. had. That was, and now you, I went you would have locker, to. And that was, I, that was the first time I had really said anything into the, in, in the locker room at the half. At, at, at the half. What, to the team? Yep. And so that was that year, you know, we, were, we had a pretty decent team. And so, you know, everybody would start saying, like, are we pretenders or contenders? Mm-hmm. So that was kind of like the thing. So when we got in the locker room, I was like, yo, bro, like, we got, we're going to have to play now. I was like, shit, right now, we just pretend. <laughs> you know, we're pretending yeah. right now. I said, we're going to have to, heck yeah. Some guy said, you know, I kind of sparked him and what have you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah man. Somebody <laughs> out there started uh, talking. Uh, talking to yeah, 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 man. So, you know. Oh, you know, Please. I can't, but that was, a, that was that was the year I was hurt. Like, I I barely even practiced, like, the last half of the season because I had my groin issues. So I didn't practice none during the course of the week. I just rehab, rehab, and then I would take a tour doll or whatever, play on Sunday. And that's when, she, that, that the first play out the gate, when I ran that that, that uh, hook route, the little curl and route. it bounced off you? Doot, doot, doot. Pierce, 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 Pierce bounced gone. off the... <laughs> that was Pierce, number 58. Oh, just jump on his back like right. he was a little kid. Boop, boop, boop. Shimmy, look, he shimmy his mouth up. Yeah. Hey, dog, y'all, you still got a couple rings, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but yeah, that boy, year, you should have had one. <laughs> no, that, that, that year, I don't know if we, that wasn't the year. That wasn't the year. Nah, I don't know if we was done it that year. But we had a good team, Y'all though. had a night, yeah, but it was we so much team. controversy behind the whole... Yeah. We, they threw the that ball. That was garbage. He tackled my man. <laughs> you can't tackle somebody. But, that, but that's not the most egregious call ever, though. That's the worst call it. for us it was. For y'all, yeah. For us it was. That's I mean, all that matters. Now, just, it, it can't be any more egregious than what just happened last year against the Saints. No, no, no. no. That was one of the worst non-calls ever. ever. No, it, but now, yeah. the reason that makes it worse now is because they got a whole system review stuff. Right, right. And right. they can't even get it right when they review it. Like right. these years. Last like, weekend. What Rudolph just, with the with The, the Kyle Rudolph with, oh, was, yeah. is the same. Well, that wasn't that again. bad last week. But it doesn't matter. It wasn't. It doesn't but, matter. But they were both kind of going. But did he gain an advantage? But he gained an advantage when he That's the only Hey, man. That's what I, that's the question. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves because you're wide receivers. No, no, I don't. I'm trying to be fair, though. I do. But and about, I'm a defensive guy trying right, to look out for the guy. What's going I on? Right, but that's appreciate. when you implement the integrity of the game. That's where like, I'm coming from. This guy. I'm telling you this, Mr. <laughs> integrity of the game. That they both were jockeying. Right. But that, see, but Minnesota <laughs> did just what I thought they were gonna do, though. Like they did last year. Win a big game. And then, oh, they then, they then the down. second let one, yeah, they had the let down. Well, smacking is the Ravens. Oh, yeah, just they yeah, got earlier, yeah. Yeah, they, 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 I didn't see that coming. I took Baltimore. No, I didn't I'm see like, that coming. I was, there's I no way know. Tennessee's go. Because, you know, people who beat the Patriots the next week, they have a letdown all yeah. the time. So they beat the Patriots. There's no way they go going to Baltimore and win, too. They but Tennessee, I, did, I said they were going to win because I knew about the running game. I just right, saw, like, because right, yeah. my thing is you're, you're relying heavily on Lamar Jackson with his feet and his arm. And then you got a question mark with Mark Ingram. He had the cast. Yeah. Yeah. So he wasn't yeah. at full strength. So now you asking a lot, a put guy. a lot for one guy to do. A you young know what guy mean? too. And then like Mike Vrabel, he's not a bad coach. Vrabel, he's showing me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, now. Again, yeah, he put it right, exactly. He's making a name for himself as a coach, as a head coach. Best you go in the where he played, yeah. <laughs> Gillette Stadium, yeah. Bill Belichick, and, and not Brady. only that. But then they use all that the rules to run off like a minute or so yeah, on that clock. He's the, using the rules the penalty, of the guy who and then start him. the clock again. And you yeah. saw yes. Belichick going crazy. You can't like, do nothing about you it. You can't do nothing about it because you do that to people. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's in the they game. tried to do it again tonight, but the uh, uh, Ravens called a timeout. Oh, so they that. tried to do it. Yeah, because tried New to do England it. couldn't do that last week because they didn't have a timeout right. to yep. do it. Yeah, yeah, so they tried to do it tonight, but then it but hey, caught make them to... waste the timeout. Exactly. Make waste. But uh, but Tennessee is is tough, man. I mean, they 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 I gotta say have taken on the personality of the coach. Absolutely. Right. And here you I got Tannehill, who the guy who everybody wrote wrote off. Yeah. Right. And yep. not that they're counting on him to throw for three hundred yards a game, 
but he's doing everything he needs to do to help them win. And Henry, you saw last week. Nobody oh, Patriot didn't want to touch that dude. No, no. I was at home but going, hell, I don't want to touch. touch. But, but that's <laughs> the thing. When you have man. a more than average quarterback, which Tannehill is, you utilize your weapons. Yeah. They're using everybody. They utilize, and, and the, the rookie, run game. The rookie, uh, that's the Brown thing I already said. If they got ahead on the, on the Ravens and they start running the ball, that was going to eat up a lot of clock, and that just basically keeps them off the field. Mm -hmm. Same formula that everybody else was trying to do when they played the Patriots. Get ahead, win, field. and keep Tom off the field. Yeah. Except for the Falcons. That shit worked. <laughs> that didn't work for them. I think right now, man. Put too much time on the Patriots clock. Patriots should have brought you back this year. Bro. If you could go back to play today, would you go back? Under the right. My last question. Under the, under the right circumstances. Would. Under, I would say under the right circumstances. And a coach that knows, like a veteran, what they need. That's not. Because I started to learn, and even the coaches started to learn too with me. I was better if I had a day off of rest. They saw like my my practice was was awesome, even my games. So they even saw like they kind of started to monitor like if I had like a couple of days practice, they could tell like I got fatigued. But when I got like a day rest, I'm whipping around practice. I didn't really notice it. So you think you could play now? Oh yeah, of course. Like I said, I'm not 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 no 60, 75 plays. How many but plays if, you if got? If you in? think situational football, third down. Red zone for sure. That's 25, that's 20, 20 yards. I can run a route t any day in that. <laughs> any day in that. Like we started the conversation. Sit your butt down. down because somewhere, just because man. you can't do I it doesn't mean I, I can't to. do I can't it. Do. We, oh, we, we met. First of all, we met. No, no, we met. First of all, baby. No, no, first of all, we met. No, no, I'm trying to trip him. But he already know. He's seen me running around. I go out there and run routes with his kids in the summertime, everything. Mm -hmm. And going school. against DBs that's trying to get ready for the season, putting, doing them. He know. He got, he he got that, two, again, he got two or three routes in him. I give him that. Dude, he, he, he over that BS. He got 25, 30 plays a game in him? That, it, he would have to start at about 10. He would have to start at 10 oh, plays. Yeah, that's, that's, right? And then yeah, work yeah, up. Yeah, and he'd be like Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean. Good example. But that's the thing. Like, that's but, that's, but I said, it has to be the right situation. The coach will understand where I would be valuable. Like I said, third down. Like I said, I'm not going to be your 75, 85-yard drive, but you bring me on situational football. Certain key down, third downs, and the red zone. Red zone, I'm your man. Come I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be one of the two options. Come sit with us. <laughs> yeah. Come on, on the old you man. Ask me how we got a seat. We got a seat for you at the old man table. <laughs> no, yeah, Come you, on to the old man table. Shine it up for you, young hey, fella. Give me a seat over there on Good Morning America. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, give me a seat over there, young know I man. Tell yeah. Robin and Kathy and all of them. Yeah. T.O.'s coming. Yeah. Bring his hats with him. Tell him I'm coming. We come New York. I saw New York. Yeah. When I went, uh, we got booted off from Dancing with the Star. We came oh, on the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New York City, but early in the morning, dog. Shoot, yeah. Early. They make y'all get right on the plane. And oh fly man, out. right after you lose, boy, an hour or two up on see that me. plane. Come see me. Gotta yep, talk yep. To you. I said, man, I gotta go see Mike. Man, I don't wanna see <laughs> him. That's my every weekend. So, but it was cool though. It was good. Well, you know what? Thank you guys for having me, man. Oh, I appreciate All it. Right. We appreciate you, man. Bro. Michael Strahan, Get your GP, popcorn ready. Yeah. Michael Strahan, that's our dude. So we just finished up with Stray. Yep, yep. Had a great time. You know what's crazy? He was talking about he knew every lineman that was drafted before him. You know same, what I'm same here. I mean, I know everybody. Right, right, right. But I would say at least 70, 75 percent of the guys right, right. That, that went before me. Um, just shows that chip on his shoulder. You know, he took that all the way through the process of not being as successful, you know, in this business as well. So. And a message for all you youngsters and moms and dads, aunts and uncles, granddads and grandmas out there watching, you know, always encourage and, and, and push, push your, your family members, push your guys to, you know, just keep pushing through. You know, it does, it's really not where you are, where you are at this point in time in your life. It's just mm -hmm. like you just keep Keep pushing, forging through. You got the desire, dedication, discipline. You can make it. You know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be at a Division One school now. The way the recruiting process is, the research, your kid is good. They will be found. That's why Michael Strahan, he never gave up. That's why Michael Strahan, that's my dude. And that's why he's my dude, too. Get your popcorn ready with T.O. and Hatch. Subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your live audio and video podcasts.